Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are going to be running through levels 1 to 30 of the new Fizz Final Form Cooler Extreme Z Battle Event on Global. Now, this is an EZA that I've been looking forward to for quite some time, so I'm definitely pretty excited to jump into it. But before we do that, let me quickly direct your attention to the timer above my head, and this is for the people that are interested in racing me to find out if they can finish the event faster than I can. So once we start level 1, I'll start the timer, and then when we finish level 30, I'll stop it, and then for those of you that are racing me, you can let me know if you beat my time and what your actual final time was as well. Okay, now of course this is optional, so if you guys don't want to race, you're not about that life, it's okay, just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the video. So with that said, let's jump right in here, level 1, and if you have a lot of good friends, then you should have many of these STR Namek Gokus in your friends list, so just choose one of those, and this is the team that I'm going to start with. Now for those of you that don't know, the weakness for this event is the Super Saiyans category, and uh, since Cooler is a Fizz type, STR is the most effective type, right? So ideally you want to bring as many Super Saiyans, Super STR types as you can. Now, he also doesn't have any additional damage reduction against uh, AGL types, so you could bring some AGL types like I did. So this is the team we're going to start with, and uh, if we need to make some adjustments, we will along the way, but I don't think I'll have to. I think this team will be fine. So. Alright, here we go. Level 1, I'm going to hit start and start the timer at the same time. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, we're in. So, here we go. First level, I don't think we're going to really have any issues. Uh, unless the game decides to be really slow, which might be a problem. So, I'm going to see how much damage my Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku can actually do. Oh, you know what? I should have linked up the Namek Goku and the Spirit Bomb Goku. It's fine though. Okay, so obviously tanking pretty well. We're getting 5.6 mil attack. And we should be one-shotting him here. Uh... Oh! You know what? He has more HP than I thought. He has more HP than I expected. Okay, so... One thing I noticed is that... Even though the attack stat for the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku was like 5.6, we did not as much damage as I was expecting, so maybe I should just bring a full team of STR units instead. We'll do a few more rounds, you know, as a test, but I think it might just be a better strategy to go with a full STR team. Okay, so we'll give him all those rainbow orbs, give these to Gohan, and let's see, give those to Gogeta. Yeah, like this team should still be okay, but if I'm trying to race people, if I'm trying to go as fast as possible, then maybe the AGL guys are not a great idea. Hmm. Okay, so we did 6.4 there, which is really good. That's actually really good. I'm thinking maybe I replace Gohan with like a Kefla or something like that. Although Kefla is kind of annoying because she needs an orb changer, so that means I would have to bring Kaba. But Kaba's not going to be doing much damage by himself, so he might be kind of a liability in that sense. And also, like just taking time to like switch over the units on the team, but also waste time. Man, these are things I haven't really had to think about before because it was never like a race, right? It was just kind of casual, but now that we've made it a race, I gotta think about this stuff more. I'ma leave it as is for now. I'm, I'ma leave it as is for now. If it feels like I'm taking too long to beat the stages as we progress through the levels, then we'll come back to this conversation. But for now, I think we're doing okay. We're at 2 minutes and 42 seconds. We've pretty much averaged like under a minute per stage. So if I can keep doing that, obviously it's gonna be, it's gonna get harder as we go along, right? Because well, it's gonna have more and more HP. But if we can, you know, keep this to around 30 minutes, I think that's gonna be a really good time. Um, yeah. Okay. 
We'll try our best. Here we go. Level four. Let's get it. Now, just a quick plug for those of you that haven't checked out the videos yet. There is a new series, a new series on the channel that I've called, um, I mean, it's a temporary title, but it's not bad, I guess. Storytime with Tiger. Storytime with Tiger. People are talking about it. People have been making comments. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I would recommend that you go check it out. It's um a bit of a different take on the content, I guess, on this channel. It's, it's very different. It's very different. You guys will know what I mean once you actually go, go watch it. Um, some people are asking, like, yo, where did you get this idea? Why did you... Just why? Like, why is the thing, right? And I can't really... I can't really explain it, to be honest, man. Like, it's just something that kind of happened. You know, like, sometimes things just, like, kind of happen without you really... Uh, giving it too much thought and basically you know it was my brother Phoenix I gotta give him the credit he showed me this book called these big nuts okay so that was the the, the the topic of the first video and I was like this is pretty funny man this is pretty good so I decided to make a video about it just me reading it and then from there people seem to really enjoy it so I made a second video yesterday and um, I think it's gonna become a regular series on the channel guys I, I think it's gonna be like a regular thing where every like not every week but maybe every like couple of uh couple of weeks maybe once a month i'll find like a funny book obviously i need suggestions so if you guys know other books like these big nuts or the one from yesterday then feel free to suggest them to me but i think like once every month or so i'll make one of these videos I already have a new one that I bought recently for Christmas, but I have to save that because it is Christmas themed, so we gotta, you know, save that for the Christmas episode. But uh, yeah, I'm open to a lot of different suggestions. There's one I saw recently called, Do You Wanna Play With My Balls? <laughs> that looks pretty interesting, so I might, I might pick that up. Um, although it kind of seems similar to these big nuts, so I'll think about it. But either way, guys, new series, man. New series on the channel. Always exciting. I'm always trying to branch out. Always trying to bring you guys different or just do different things to entertain you guys. So uh, definitely, if you haven't checked that out, I would I would appreciate that you check it out and then give me your opinions on the series and it will go from there. So uh, yeah, check that out. That was just a quick plug. Uh, we're still doing this race here. It's still going pretty good. 5 minutes and 56 seconds, um, we're obviously slowing down a bit, but that's to be expected. Uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on these AGL guys to see if they drop off in terms of damage, but so far they're doing good. They're, they're definitely hitting hard enough for them to like keep their spot on the team, but um, it might make more sense to switch over to a full STR team soon. Oh, this is going to be good. This should finish him off. Yeah, so right now the damage is still good, but clearly the STR guys will hit harder. Um, but when I was looking at these Super STR, like Super Saiyans, you know, outside of like adding Kefla, there weren't that many other good options. You know, there's like the family Kamehameha Goku and the Goten who are okay, but not great. Um, there's also... Who else is there? I'm trying to think without like actually checking because that's gonna waste time. Um, there's also the Kaba for support and orb changing, but I would only bring him just because, you know, we need, uh, we need to give Kefla an orb changer just so she can actually like do some, some good damage. Uh, who else? Not that, but like, like the, the high school Gohan, but he is not doing any damage really. He's just there for for support, and, and that's it. That's why I didn't really want to bring him either. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll keep this team for now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep this team for now. Okay, we're at 7 minutes, 40 seconds. It looks like 30 minutes is not happening. <laughs> it, was a, it was a long shot anyways. Oh, by the way, check out this awesome, hold on, let me, let me actually get to the next level. And I'll show you guys this awesome water bottle that Android 18 bought me. Okay, so this is 
a shaker bottle, but it's stainless steel. Super, super nice quality. And it's got the Thor, Thor hammer on it. And uh, <laughs> funny thing is, out of all the Marvel properties, like all the MCU characters, Thor was actually the one that I, I like neglected the most, you know? Like, I don't know why, but when the Thor movies came out, I just never watched them. Um, I watched Thor Ragnarok. I watched that one, but I didn't watch Thor 1 or 2 until recently. And after she got me the bottle, I was like, man, I can't I can't I can't walk around the gym and like, you know, be drinking on stream with a Thor bottle and not have watched the movies, right? So I recently started watching the movies. And I've always heard that the Thor movies are some of the, the, the weaker movies in the MCU, I guess. Like a lot of people say it's probably like yeah, just like the worst of the MCU character movies. And that's not to say they're bad movies, I think. I think people are just like, they have a very high standard when it comes to the MCU, which is understandable. They make some really good stuff, so if something is just like average, then people are, gun are going to be disappointed, I guess, right? It's like, <clears throat> it's, it's like suffering from success. Like, they're... they're They've been so good historically that if a movie isn't just amazing, then it might not be as good in the eyes of a lot of people. It's all about expectations, right? And people expect a lot from Marvel. But anyways, with that said, I finished Thor 1 last night, and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it. I really did. I think Chris Hemsworth is, is great as Thor, you know? But I guess the only thing is like... It wasn't... I don't know what the right word is, to be honest, man. Um, it was enjoyable, but it didn't quite uh, captivate my imagination, I guess, is, if, if that's the right term. I don't really know, man. But the point is, like, I, I do understand what people are saying, where, like, it's not as magical as, like, a, some of the other MCU movies when you first watch them, right? Like, when I watched Iron Man, I was like, oh my god, like, this is something different i've never seen something quite like this before but I, I was also a kid back then so maybe that's why um but i remember just like really being blown away by uh iron man and also dr strange i think was freaking fantastic with all the magic and everything um so i think part of it might be just because like i'm older now when i'm watching this so maybe it's not as magical to me maybe i've seen a lot of other stuff like similar to it uh done better so yeah, for Thor 1, I give it a, I think 7.5, 7.5 out of 10, which is really good. Like, that's actually a really good rating for a movie, right? It's just like, uh, as I said, you know, not really on the same level as some of the other MCU movies. Like, yo, Black Panther is one of my favorite movies of all time. So it's not really quite on that level, but definitely a very enjoyable movie. And Thor as a character, I think is awesome. And then we have Thor 2, which I'm not done yet, actually. I started watching this morning. I got through half of it. And I gotta say, so far, it's actually not bad. You know, like, it's, it's, it's been enjoyable. And the way that some people talk about Thor 2, man, they make it out to be, like, one of the worst movies ever. And I'm like, I'm like no, like, it's really not that bad. And once again, maybe it's not up to, like... The standard of other MCU movies, but I've enjoyed it so far. Maybe the ending's really bad. I'm not sure, but up to like where I've watched, which is about an hour in, about halfway in, uh, also pretty good. Like around the same level so far, I would say as as Thor one. So if things continue the way they've been going, then I would say I like Thor two as well. And obviously Thor three was amazing. Ragnarok was freaking fantastic. And I'm probably gonna watch it again just to prepare for uh, Thor 4, right? Uh, Love and Thunder, I think, is what it's called, but that's not coming for a while. Either way, Thor is great. Got the bottle, so that's why I had to watch it. And uh, I'm glad I did, man, because they're pretty good. They're, they're good movies. Um, with that said, quick update on the time 12 minutes and 41 seconds. We are on level. I kinda lost track, actually, I'm not sure. I think level 10 or 11. Now, we're definitely not averaging a minute per level anymore. But if we can finish this under 40, 
five minutes. I think that would still be pretty good. Okay, there we go. Why did I choose the 69% Goku instead of the... That makes no sense. That was a misclick. I'm just trying to get through this quickly. Okay, so give those to Goku, give those to Gohan, and let's get a super for the friend Goku. Okay, okay. So as far as like tanking goes, don't really have to worry about that too much. He is doing some decent damage to us, but it's not nearly enough for me to be worried. But of course, it's still pretty early, so I guess uh, we haven't seen much yet. But yeah, not too much damage that he's doing to us. We're still doing some good damage, although it's starting to kind of fall off a little bit. So it might be time to pull out like a Kefla. But who would I take out? I guess I would take out... I would probably take out AGL Gohan. And, uh... Maybe Gogeta. Because I want to keep Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. He just hits so hard. It, it would be a shame to take him out. Yeah, I think I'll take out Gohan. And... Gogeta. SDR Gogeta obviously stays. Because he... Oh, he's SDR, but he's also, you know, doing some really good damage. So we gotta keep him. Okay. So let's do a quick switch here. Boom, boom. STR, wasting time. Take him out. Uh, Kaba, confirm. Okay, that took about 10 seconds, right? An extra 10 seconds. If I end up losing two guys for 10 seconds, I'm gonna be pissed, man. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, let's let Kefla shine a bit. Okay, six orbs there for her. Let's see what she can do. And uh, obviously, 18 key for Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku and Namek Goku. Okay, let's see. Uh, 2.6, pretty good, pretty good. Now, you might've noticed that she only had six key to start the turn. So unless she's like really linked up with Kaba or at least has the support of Kaba, um, I think she might struggle for key a bit, so that's also a concern, but her damage at least is good. She's at least doing some very, very solid damage for us, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep her for at least a couple of stages and see how that experiment goes. Okay, that was quick though. That was one rotation. That was, that was a good stage. Alright, moving on to 14. Come on. Good animations. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I've been watching the Thor movies, but on top of that, oh no, this is bad. Okay. Those to him. Oh, okay. Er, at least he gets a super. Okay, so the two Namek Goku's get a super. I probably should have saved actually the six orbs for Kefla. Now that I think about it. But yeah, uh, I've been watching Thor, but I've also been watching some anime too. People also sometimes ask, like, sometimes ask if like, I'm watching new shows or whatever, so in case you're curious, I'm watching One Piece. So not not really a new show actually, but I'm trying to catch up. Like it's it's been a many year long like quest at this point to finish One Piece, and I don't know if uh, I'm ever gonna catch up, but I'm I'm trying again. You know, every once in a while I like start, I watch a few episodes, I stop, and then I do do it again, and then I stop, I start again. So this is another attempt, and uh, so far, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm almost done the Alabaster arc, and man, I just really want to know like what people are talking about when it comes to like the new, like all these different forms of Luffy and like th th these different characters that I've never seen yet and all that stuff. Like, I really like the concept of One Piece. I love pirates, and uh, yeah, we're trying that again. And of course, I'm still continuing to not watch actually, but read Hajime no Ippo which still remains one of my favorite franchises of all time at this point. I'm on chapter like 900 now, I think. It's definitely the most chapters I've read of any manga ever. And uh, it was totally worth it, man. 100% worth it. Really enjoying that. And if you guys haven't checked out Hajime no Ippo, man, I, I don't know what else to say at this point. Like, you gotta do it. You know, it's just something you gotta do. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, if you don't like boxing, I guess then it's not really going to be your thing. But even if you're not into boxing, I think Hajime no Ippo 
has enough of just like humor and just like a life stuff to to get you into it, you know? And like I gotta say, like, you know, I wasn't really that knowledgeable about boxing before, but it teaches you a lot, you know, you learn a lot about boxing just by reading and watching the anime. Um oh, speaking of boxing. <laughs> Big boxing match this last weekend. For those of you that missed it, it was uh, Wilder Fury 3. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 3. And I watched it with a couple of buddies. Um, and it was uh, it was a it was a fun fight actually. Really, really fun fight. I, it, it, it kind of played out the way that I expected it. You know, I think most people thought that Fury was gonna win most likely unless Wilder knocked him out, which was the only thing that really made it interesting because if you just look at the two fighters, like Fury clearly is the more adept, more skilled, more experienced fighter, right? As a boxer. Wilder just has this crazy knockout power that like could end the match at any time. And that's why people were interested. They're like, hey, you know, like obviously, you know, one guy's better, but the other guy just has this like insane, insane, I mean, right hand that could have potentially won him the fight and there was a point where it looked like you know it was gonna happen and then and then it didn't uh but overall enjoyable and definitely respect both guys you know like, like a lot of people say right like even though wilder lost he gained a lot of respect because of it just like how resilient not not resilient how uh how much heart he showed i guess right like this guy clearly seemed like he was done after like the first couple of rounds but he stuck around for 11 but so definitely respect that uh, i know a lot of you guys don't care about boxing so i'm not going to talk about it too much but go read hajime no ippo man it will get you, get you into boxing trust me like it, it's it's so good it's such a good story anyways getting back to what we're doing here 20 minutes in so far we are on level 16, is it? 17? I've lost track. I don't know. I want to say we're on level 16. So we're just slightly past halfway. And I think including Kefla here was not a bad idea, especially including Kaba, actually, because he does help the rest of the team hit so much harder that, like, he definitely has his value here for sure. But yeah, Kefla is still a little bit... I'm still a little bit mixed on her, man, because while she's doing good damage when I can get her to super, she doesn't actually super that much, right? And it's because of her stupid links. <laughs> and, you know, even if she does super, like, if I don't get her six orbs, then she's not going to be doing much damage at all, which is also a problem. So if I were to take out Kefla, who would I throw back in? Maybe AGL Gogeta? Maybe AGL Gogeta. Ooh, some good damage there. Really good damage there. Hopefully we can finish him off with this one rotation. Come on, give me a crit. <sighs> Additional. Yeah, okay. So we, we're going to need one more attack. Alright, so let's give the attack to... Oh, Gogeta, actually, he's fast. Uh, no! Crap, I messed up. Okay, I meant to give that to Gogeta. But... I guess I didn't swipe him over enough, so instead we have the Namek Goku attacking. Which I think is still enough. This should still be enough to finish him off. If not, though, we just wasted another, like, 10 seconds. Thank you! Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Level 18, let's go. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw the stone count, but this is kind of the first time in like a very long time I've been able to actually like save some stones. It's kind of crazy, man. Like for, for, for many banners now, like every single time I had stones, I would spend them immediately, right? But this time around, I don't know. Like I was just able to save. And I think a big part of it is because I don't, care too much for the Kohan and the and the Garlic Jr. I mean, they're cool units, right? Don't get me wrong, but um, I was able to get at least one copy of each and, and you know, in that first video. And then after that, I was like, I could keep summoning, but why? 
You know, like, it just makes the game less fun for me when I either rainbow a new unit immediately, like, on their first banner, or at least get, like, two or three dupes, and then by the time they come back again, it just makes it so much... It, it makes it, like, a lot less fun, because if I already have a unit rainbowed and I pull more copies, it feels bad, right? Like, it just, it just feels bad, man, so... Uh, definitely, definitely glad that I was able to stop after the first video. And as I said before, man, I think I'm I'm going to stick to this like policy of just pulling one to two copies of a new unit every time they come out and just calling it there, you know, because I think long term, it's going to make it a lot more fun for me. Play this game is going to make it a lot more interesting to summon, you know, when, when it comes to these like big banners. Because like with the way I was playing the game before, anniversary banners and download celebration banners weren't actually that good for me, even though like intrinsically, they were great because of all the LRs they had, but because of the way I was playing, because of the way I was like rainbowing, you know, units all the time, um, it actually made it so that, yeah, even a great banner like like the anniversary banners or the down celebration banners were still actually trash banners. No, 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 that's not the right term. Not trash. They were just not as valuable as they could be. I guess, yeah. They, they were just not as valuable as they should have been. So, yep. One one copy. Once two copies max. Every single time. Unless, obviously, I get blessed and I pull, like, two and one multi on, like, the second multi. And then I have to keep going, obviously. Because I'm not going to do two multis for a video. So, if they want to give me more copies that way, that's cool. But, uh, if I have just, like, normal luck. And it takes me, like, 500 to 1,000 to pull one copy. I'm going to spend those stones. Follow one copy and uh, just move on, you know, because I think long term it will make things just a lot more interesting for me and also more interesting for you guys, right? Because you don't have to watch me just like be disappointed every time I pull an LR that is not like the new LR or the new unit because I already had to rainbow them a long time ago. Okay, so now we're in the 20s. We're officially in the 20s and... Things are still going pretty well. The Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is definitely a must-have on this team. Um, because even though he's AGL, man, he just... I mean, he hits stupid hard. Like, come on. <laughs> Look at these attack stats. And if he crits, yeah. He, he's basically doing half his HP right there. And we're at 25 minutes and 52 seconds. I think 45 minutes is actually doable. I think 45 minutes is doable, guys. <sighs> okay, additional there. Nice. SBA, or rather, uh, dynamic Goku should kill cooler now. Yes. Uh, oh, perfect. Okay. So, I was about to freak out, man. I was about to be like, what are... He had like a tiny sliver HP, but then we got the additional, so it's fine. It's fine. Alright, level 21, guys. Two thirds of the way through. 26 minutes and 30 seconds. We did waste some time with, uh, you know, changing the team up a bit and everything, but uh, for the most part, we actually, you know, just can, like, you, you know how, like, usually when I do races with people, I talk a lot, right? And, like, sometimes when I talk, I don't actually do anything in the game. Like, I don't actually do anything with my rotations, and a lot of people are frustrated with me for that. But this time, we haven't done that. Okay, this time I'm actually like going like as quickly as possible. Even with the talking, I'm still like, you know, so selecting my orbs, moving my rotations very efficiently. So uh, we're making good time. We're making good time. I'm sure there are a lot of you guys that are still going to beat me. But just know that I tried. I tried my hardest. I Maybe mean, not my hardest, but I, it's like a... It's like an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 on the effort scale. Okay, so we're going to throw Kefla back there because she's not really... Well, I mean, she. I could give her 6 orbs there, but I'm not going to give her 6 orbs over a Vegito. Uh, let's see, okay, so we can still... Oh, cannot super. I think it's fine though, I'm pretty sure Vegito will handle the job. Man, I can't wait for Tech Gogeta to drop. 
in about a month and a half from now. That's gonna be insane, man. It, that that that's gonna be a hard banner for me to actually follow my policy on, just because like it's freaking Tech Gogeta, man. The animations I think are still. I would say still the best in the game right now, man. Even though we've had a lot of good animations, like I love Final Form or, or Full Power Frieza's. I love the Super Saiyan Goku's. Um, I still love the anniversary uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or sorry, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta from uh, the fifth anniversary, right? But I gotta say Tech Gogeta, I think has the best animations in the game right now. And I don't know how you guys feel about that, you know, I think a lot of people agree, but some people might not. Uh, regardless, it's freaking Gogeta, man. It's freaking Gogeta, so... I might have to, like, at least get two dupes in him, but... It's just wishful thinking, man. I'm saying that right now, assuming I'll even, like, pull one copy in, like, 2,000 stones, which is never guaranteed. It's never guaranteed, so we'll see how the summons actually go. Uh, I would love to get two dupes just to get the gold skill orb, right, and like all the hidden potential skills, but We'll, we'll play it by ear, right? Like if, if I can get one copy relatively easily um, Yeah, then, then I'll go for like multiple dupes. If not, then You know, it is what it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's get these to him uh, Damn it, okay so once again, no super for Kefla. Kefla might have to go. I don't know. Kefla, Kefla might have to go. But I'm trying to think of like who would be a good replacement. Maybe the Super Saiyan Goku. No, I can't have the Super Saiyan Goku because I have the Spirit Bomb Sorb Goku already, who's also Super Saiyan Goku. And you can't have same name units for Extreme Z battles. So that's not going to work. So who... Maybe a support? Maybe high school Gohan? High school Gohan wouldn't be bad. Uh, maybe... Goten... He does some... Nah, he doesn't do that much damage. But he... He does okay damage, I think. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'm gonna take Kefla out and put in somebody real quick. Probably high school Gohan. Because obviously good support. Um, if not, though, I would still prefer a damage dealer over him. Because damage is, is, is key right now. Okay. So, boom. Kefla's gone. I put in. Uh, th no, this guy. Let's try the trunks. Let's try the trunks. Let's see how much he can do. He also provides support to Hybrid Saiyans, and we have no Hybrid Saiyans on this team. Excellent. Okay, so that maybe was not the best call. <laughs> but he himself, I think, does still some damage. I haven't used him in a bit, so I'm not sure exactly how hard he can hit without the unit super attack. Um, if it's over 1.5, then I, I say we keep him. Yeah, if he gets over 1.5 mil attack, I say he's still worth keeping. If it's less than 1.5, then probably not. Although High School Gohan still might be the better inclusion just because... Ooh, okay, so he gets about 2, actually. Gets about 2. That's actually very, very solid. That's very, very... Decent. Hmm. I know High School Gohan gets something like I don't know, like fifty. No, no, not fifty. Uh, like five hundred thousand or something like that. Like something stupidly low. So that's why I was very hesitant to include him. Um, I think I think Trunks. Man, I should have had Trunks in there before, like before Kefla uh, a while ago. Because yeah, Kefla's key issues are just not not ideal on this team. Uh, okay, get those to him. Okay. Yeah, let's keep Trunks for now. We're at 30, almost 33 minutes. We're on level 24, so we are six levels away. 
Additional super, perfect. Ooh, triple super. Haven't seen that in a long time. Haven't seen that in a long time. Almost soloed <laughs> Cooler by himself. That's awesome. Okay, this. We'll finish it. Nope. Okay. Trunks. Nope. Goku again. Okay. There we go. Okay. Next level 25, right? 25, yes. Um, yeah, we'll keep this team for the time being. Bitter Bomb Absorb Goku as the only AGL type I think makes sense. Because obviously he just hits stupidly stu- Oh no, okay. Um, let's put this guy here. And then we can get a super for Goku. Actually, we can't, but we can get a super for the other Goku. So this is going to be a bit of a whack rotation. This rotation is going to suck. Well, that's okay. The next rotation, we do have Goku and Vegeta. So I think they can still finish it for us in two rotations. Um, but yeah, you hate it when this happens, man. Maybe I'll take out Trunks just so we actually have somebody else that supports... The other guys like high school Gohan. Uh, I don't know if the trade off is worth it though, because Trunks himself just hits like very hard. Okay, so put these guys there. 18 key for them. 18 key for Goku. Nice super for Gogeta. I do have a pretty exciting uh, sponsorship, a new sponsor on the channel that I haven't revealed yet, but um, we've been talking and uh, it's related to these, kind of. There's, there's, a, there's some crossover, so I will not say anything right now until things are official official, but um, look forward to that guys. Look forward to that. that, that that's coming. That's on the horizon. Okay, so I'm gonna actually take out Trunks and I'm gonna put in High School Gohan. I think that's gonna be the final team. Although Kaba, I feel like should go out as well. But I do really enjoy his support. I really enjoy his support, so I'm kinda of conflicted. Okay, 9, 11, okay, 11. Um, yeah, Kaba, I'm still not sure about, but I th think he should stay maybe yeah we'll keep him we'll keep him the support he provides is, is quite valuable well not to spirit bubbles or goku but to everybody else to everybody else it, it's quite valuable okay additional damn it it's just a shame Kaba himself really doesn't do that much damage. Even with like a bunch of orbs actually, they've noticed these guys like just don't aren't 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 that impressive. You know? They're just not that impressive. Okay, so 18 key super there. Uh this should finish him off, but if not, then we also got a super for the other Goku. But I think the Goku and Vegeta plus the Namek Goku one super is gonna be enough. Especially with additionals, of course. Oof, that was nice. Yeah. We're good. Oh, I'm curious, actually. Uh, <laughs> let me know. Random question. Is the new Bond movie worth watching? Is the new James Bond movie? It's, it's Daniel Craig's last Bond movie, right? I think for that reason, for that alone, it's worth watching in theaters. Like I, I do plan to watch it regardless, but um, I was thinking of whether or not like I should watch it, like wait until it comes out in theaters or rather at home, 
like uh you know for rental or whatever to watch it or should i watch it in theaters is it good enough to justify buying a movie ticket especially now because things are still kind of sketch over here man like you know we still got quite a few cases so i try to like not was that damage we just took did we just take a super for 270,000? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Um So this is where things get real. This is this is where things get real. Ah. Uh, all right. See, I didn't think we had to worry much about tanking. But clearly I was wrong. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. Oh, I messed up too. I should have given the super to Gogeta. We might actually die here. Yo, what happened? From the last level to this level, the increase in damage was... Like, that's... That's crazy. If you get supered again, we're probably dead. Hopefully, he doesn't super us again. Although, I think we're actually dead. From those three attacks at the end anyways even if those those three are normals i think we're still dead because he's gonna hit us for like what 11 12k per oh we're dead wow okay i did not expect to actually die man i did not expect to actually die that that is okay we're gonna take him out <laughs> we're gonna take him out let's put in uh Let's put in Kefla. Let's do a full STR team. I think that'll fare, fare better. Um, you know, as much damage as AGL, SPA Goku can do, we just can't really deal with all that. Uh, all that damage like that he's taking. I, I think it's not worth it. So here we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was crazy, man. That was unexpected <laughs> but now we should be okay I, I think i think with this all str team it's not as much of a concern like here we're gonna take about 100k maybe maybe 150 or just over 100 see that's much better that's much better he did lower our defense though so yeah i just gotta pay attention more um it will be okay yeah we'll be okay but, uh, let's see, um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave them there, uh, it's just one orb for Gogeta. Unfortunately, no rainbow, so he's not gonna hit as hard as he could, but hopefully, um, he will get supered again. Well, the only person that I would be worried about getting supered actually on this rotation would be Gogeta. Like, it's fine if he supers. High school Gohan or or the or the Vegito. Oh, nice. Very very nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Unexpected for sure. The, the the KO was unexpected, but I think we will not die again for the rest of the run. Now that we know. To not include AGL types at the end. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, lesson learned, guys. Like, that probably is going to cost me the win against a lot of you guys, right? Like, a, lo a lot of you that um, weren't dumb and didn't bring AGL types <laughs> probably, probably didn't die like I did. So, lesson learned in the future when I do these videos, man, especially when it's supposed to be a race. I'm definitely gonna be just doing like as much as I can at least like all effective types right like all STR against Fizz or all AGL against SDR and so on and so forth just um, to ensure that doesn't happen because that that's a big waste of time like I wasted like a minute there on that one stage right and now it, it, it's looking it's looking tough for 45 minutes man 45 minutes it's gonna be tough to 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 stay under I don't think it's actually possible anymore 
I'm still gonna try to go as fast as possible, of course, but I just don't think it's uh, in reach anymore, especially because I wanted to give Godita that first super, but I didn't move him far enough, so that's another mistake. That's gonna cost me some time. Unless we get a crit here. Okay, even if we get a crit, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Got two more levels after this, and then we're done. Two more. Two more. Oh man, that super would have... He would have been able to one-shot um, Cooler on the, on the second rotation there if I had just put him in the first slot. Okay, two more. Two more. Level 29. Level 29. Okay, we got careful at the end. If I can give her... Uh, six orbs, that would be phenomenal. Um, so let me see, I give these to Goku, and there we go. We got seven, actually. We got seven. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's gonna be about 47 minutes. I think 47 is kind of realistic right now provided nothing goes wrong we don't die again or something like that which I don't think is gonna happen like this team is tanky enough um, to, to not die at this point yeah we're good we're good sweet ah oh, man additional super additional super come on okay uh, I'm curious. Okay, let's see how much damage Kaba can do here. With 11 orbs, was it? Or, or was it 9? It was a good amount of orbs. It was a good amount of orbs. So let's see how hard he can hit with that many orbs. This should be okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 1.4. See, we give him all those orbs, he only gets 1.4 mil. So, like... And he doesn't kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid experiment. I should have just put I, sh I should just put Namek Goku in the front. That was my bad. Now we're not gonna make it to 47 minutes because of that stupid thing I just did. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh let's do Goku in front. Uh, give these to Gogeta, and then we can at least get a super with Kefla. We got one minute. One minute. Is it gonna happen? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say it's gonna take us 48. Roughly, give or take, uh, 15 seconds. Hmm. We might not even be able to actually finish him next rotation. Let's get additional super here. Okay, additional super. Unfortunately, without the, you know, um, six orbs. So she's not getting too much attack. But okay, let's see. And that's going to be a full 24 key super. And I'm going to give 7 orbs to Kaba. So if he has like a little bit of HP left, Kaba I think can finish him off. But I think actually Vegito's going to gonna solo here. I think Vegito's going to solo here. I'm going to get ready to stop the counter here. Once we uh, kill him. Okay, he's going to super us. Waste a little bit more time. But come on Goku. 2.1 mil, okay. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Kill him. Yes. Okay, we're done. So I'm going to get to this screen and boom. 4723.37 was the final time, guys. Okay, so from level 1, start level 1 to level 30, finishing level 30. 47 minutes, 23 seconds, and uh. 37 milliseconds, I guess. Let me just collect these. Awesome. And we're gonna awaken my cooler right now and get him ready for the showcase, which is coming very soon.
Now, I do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this guy because, like, I remember distinctly, man, when he first came out, I wanted him so bad, and I just could not get him, man. I just couldn't. Like, it was... I, I, at the time, for me, it was a lot of stones, man. I think I spent, like, 700 or 800, and, like, I spent a lot of money, actually. Like, it was a lot of money back then because I wasn't making content, so it was just, like, out of pocket. It wasn't, like, money I was getting from, like, YouTube or anything to actually... Um, you know, kind of offset some of the costs, right? So it was really expensive for me, man. And like, it was just a bad experience. Like it made me want to quit Dokkan for a while when I couldn't pull this guy. And now obviously I have as many copies as I want because um, I pulled them like quite a few times after. But <sighs> yeah, man, I, I remember I hated this dude so much back in the day. But now I love him again because he's an absolute monster. You guys will find out in that showcase video coming very soon with him. And the SDR cooler going off together. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. So let me just... I'm, I'm going to just use five guys. Screw it. Uh, yeah, okay. And I actually don't think I gave him any skill orbs. Let me see. What skill orbs we have for Fizz. I don't think I have any level 5 attacks. But maybe... Well, level 4 attacks not bad, actually. Or maybe some defense. Some extra defense would be nice. Um, nah, screw it. <laughs> level 4 attack. Level 4 attack. And then for silver, let me see what I got. Uh, ooh, okay, level 5 crit. That's tempting. That is tempting. Level 5 crit for this guy. But then I want more additional, so maybe I should give him a level something additional. I don't have any additional, actually. You know, for now, I'm going to do level 2 crit as a placeholder to just get him to level 20 crit. And then once I get some additional skill orbs, I'll probably replace that with like a level 3 to 5 additional. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Alright, well anyways guys. Final form cooler. Extremes the Awakening. Done. You guys see the time. 47 minutes, 23 seconds. Um, if you guys got a better time than me, let me know. If you got a worse time than me, then let me know how long it took you to get through all of them. Obviously, I know not everybody raced, so uh, if you didn't, then don't worry about it, but <laughs> that's gonna be today. Yo, by the way, yo, la last thing, last thing before we get out of here. Give your Final Form Cooler a sticker, guys. Give your Fizz Cooler a freaking sticker. I mean, just look at the effect. Look at the beautiful, like, that the ball, the, the, the you know, like the, the the jagged things, the lightning or whatever you want to call them, like going up to the ball and like everything about this sticker effect is just beautiful, man. It, it's one of my top five favorite in the game for sure. Um, maybe even top three. You know, it's just it's just that good. So, give your cooler a freaking sticker. He deserves it. And that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and uh, my attempt to go as quickly as possible. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Yo, my music just ended. Hold on, let me let me just quickly throw something on so it's not quiet as we sign up. Um, yeah, as always, if you like the video, uh, wait, wait, where, where was I? Up to the channel. Oh, and hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.